No, there's probably not. Okay. <laughs> How about you? Is there anybody in the red pill space? You're like, if I could pick one guy, you know, if Steven let me kind of dip out one day, you know, that Tate guy, I'd give it to him. Nobody? No. So nobody in the red pill space. I don't space. think so, no. So Any you're not reason? into like alpha men, big strong men, you're more... I don't think they're big and strong. I think they're really pathetic. You think who's pathetic? <laughs> all of them. <laughs> yeah. Tate specifically? I think all of them are. Like they seem extremely insecure to me and I like security. I like confidence in a man and I don't think any of them are very confident. Mm. Really? Because that's mm. the exact opposite approach that about I would... that what they want yeah they want to look really confident mm -hmm. but so like you, the way they act like if you look at the situations they end up in and like how they speak no it sounds very insecure to me so you look at someone like andrew tate you know who's sort of the poster child of the red pill space obviously it was kevin samuels for a long time rest in peace you look at at someone like him or even like myron or any of these guys you think that they're insecure yeah really <laughs> yeah because I feel like I've whenever, heard a lot of things, but insecure is not on the list. If it, we took this as an example, if there's a guy that's like, "Get away from me!" Like that's gay, bro. Like if if that like if it really feels like that makes you less masculine, like ever thinking about being in touch, like even like hugging a dude is like, if it really make if you feel if you feel so bad about it, I think there's a lot of insecurity that comes Who's, out of it. Who feels sad about it? What do you mean feel? If they feel bad about it, if they if they feel, if they feel so scared of like coming off as gay or anything like that, and they're like, "No, bro," like. For, to me it's just like even like hugging a dude is like if it really make if you feel if you feel so bad about it i think there's a lot of insecurity that comes Who's, out of it who feels sad about it what do you mean feel if they feel bad about it if they if they feel, if they feel so scared of like coming off as gay or anything like that and they're like no bro like for, to me it just looks like insecurity a guy that's like yeah i like to suck dick sometimes there's a lot more confidence because that's a lot to fucking say okay you know? that is so like, in backwards melina mm -hmm. so, a guy, so a guy so a guy who's like yo bro i'm not gay lower. keep that shit elsewhere <laughs> That's insecure. But a guy who's like, yeah, I'll suck some dick. That's secure. It doesn't have to be sucking dick, but it could be like you, you, would, you said but it, let's though. say Let's say that a, that a guy is like, I love you, man. Like, or if they're like showing emotion or if, mm. like if yeah. they're even crying, like at some point they get really emotional about something. Because that's something mm -hmm. that a lot of men are having an issue with, too. Like showing some sort of emotion or crying about something, you know, um, especially these guys are very they will never ever you you know do that mm -hmm. if they if they do i think that takes a lot more and if they can't like be like no it's okay to be upset sometimes well, if i, I do that... lose my job it's okay for, for me to be upset it's a lot more confidence um than it is to well, just be like no i would never do that to be clear you can show emotions as a guy but that doesn't mean you have to be emotional there is a difference. Well, there's so, for a lot of these red guys, they say like, yeah. you can never be emotional around your woman because they might leave you immediately. Yeah, that's, <laughs> no, that's I, an 